Alright, hello everybody. Um, our presentation uh, is Strudel. And actually, Strudel is an iOS app and is the final product of a semester long uh, investigation into uh, community generated data, data visualizations, um, and digitally networked um, environments. Um, the, the starting point um, was we, we were looking at how people interact in digital spaces and uh, looking at various technologies that were around. And also look, we were looking at theoretical framework for such digital works, um, works by um, people like Dix, uh, Chris Milk, and um, Aaron Coblin. Um, with saying that, we started off with um, one point being our website, the age of the interface. This was our first point for where we shared all our information, our conceptual ideas, our interface literature and everything like that. We took um, a lot of consideration about how this website looked. Um, yeah, but it was our first point where we started sharing ideas. Really, just so that we're clear, the age of the interface was the website that we set up to, to house our publications, our articles that we wrote, based on research that we've written and to document our prototypes, um, etc. So it's, it's kind of focused, it's our, our information hub. It's really <laughs> Okay, um, so our conceptual questions and I think it's... So what we... On the other side. What we really wanted to hear was to start questioning the way that people interacted with these artificial spaces, collaborative spaces, and actually start provoking interaction and having people drawing on the same digital platform. Um, we wanted to be able to capture these um, interactions, portray them back visually as, as data visualizations and a series of different images and generated data. Um, we're really keen to make an engaging interface um, and actually what something that was a precursor to that was um, looking at what is an interface, looking at contemporary um, ideas of interface, looking at, again, um, Dix's work was quite key, um, human-computer interaction. Um, we've all kind of looked at that throughout the course, so um, yeah, interface is something that was very key to our project. Okay. So, first came... Uh, prototype number one, which was written with processing, um, PHP, and was a collaborative doodle sketch um, that we housed on our internet, used an SQL database. Um, at first we were asking subjects to, or users to, just draw on an empty canvas. There was issues of populating an empty void, um, and people just didn't quite know what to do. So we actually just on the fly just kind of bunged in a, a map view for the background, it was static, um, but there is still a, a quite a large detachment from um, you know, what we were trying to get them to do and what they actually interpreted and what they actually did do. Shucks uh, will talk about technical issues. Um, yeah, we wrote this in processing. Um, it's, it was loaded up onto open processing. It's still available on our website to, to view and interact with. Um, the, the sketch that we made uh, was based around clicking onto the, uh, the view window and it populated dots but the, there was a massive issue communicating from processing because it's a very linear interface communicating through uh, HTTP request to PHP to MySQL and then drawing back the data through my, from MySQL through PHP back into processing and there was about a four second delay for each dot that was drawn um, and that was, that's basically just the limitations of <coughs> coding it in processing and Java. And from that, we decided to move on to iOS. Um, I'd just like to draw the example here that um, we were really trying throughout the project to um, establish a foundation and theoretical basis and research, and then start building and, and conceptualizing, doing the coding, designing graphics. Then we prototype by showing people, by showing our families, showing them the, the simulator profiles, directing them to the website and sort of seeing how they experience things. And then we had that feedback into the next step of our building. So it created this kind of cyclic working methodology. Build, um, I mean research, build, prototype, research, build, prototype. And they all kind of feed about the place. Now, 
after our experience with the web-based um, Moodle sketch, we decided that um, mobile platforms would be a fantastic, um, um, iOS mobile platform would be an excellent place to actually, um, an excellent, yeah, a great method and vehicle to use for um, a collaborative canvas or a collaborative work. Um, it gave us a different point than using other people that have been doing a lot of these sorts of things as web-based apps, whereas this created a mobile platform you could take it anywhere, use it anywhere without feeling restricted in an isolated app, which is sort of why we chose these devices. Um, one of the works that really um, inspired this was uh, Cats as Machines That Become Us, the Social Context of Personal Communication, which um, 